Greetings and welcome to an LGR thing and today I've got a bamboo keyboard. I recently came across these things because some of you let me know that this exists due to my penchant for wooden computing items and you know what? I was intrigued enough to grab it so let's take a look. So here it is, the bamboo keyboard and mouse. It's a little mouse, too small for me to want to actually use, and for any length of time, it's just, I, my hands are too large for this, but I've got very satisfying clicks, I gotta say. And with the sort of pliability of the bamboo, it's just as a material, that makes sense to me. But yeah, it's just, it's too small. Mouse wheel feels pretty nice though, and clicks easily enough. Underneath here, we have an area to put in the batteries, and I guess that's the little transceiver receiver dongle deal plugs into the computer and uh, accepts the wireless signals. Two AAA batteries here, as well as two AAAs in the keyboard itself. And uh, you know, that's fine, standard, I suppose. I don't know how long they last. There's not really a lot of information <laughs> that's on here. It does say that it's supposed to do automatic power saving. So it turns itself off when you're not using it for a while, as well as channel hopping. So you get the best signal and it works at a distance of seven to 15 meters. And uh, otherwise, I mean, this just tells you how to put in friggin' batteries and like not to submerge it in water and stuff. Now on the box, it says it's healthy, eco-friendly and fashionable. <laughs> fashionable, yeah, maybe. I kind of like the bamboo look of this. I mean, that's the whole reason that I bought it. But healthy, I don't know. Eco-friendly, yeah, maybe. It's still actually got a plastic kind of metal. Uh, that might be plastic, I'm not really sure. It feels cold enough to be metal. That's obviously not bamboo, even though on the uh, Amazon page it said the whole thing, the whole chassis was made out of bamboo, but it's clearly not. So I guess maybe in a way it's it's more biodegradable than like ABS plastic or something, but, uh, but still, bamboo, I mean, if you're really concerned about not having waste after you recycle this thing, this is a good way to go, I guess. Who actually makes this? I don't know. It says blue bamboo and there's even like their logo right here on the mouse, but that doesn't really mean a thing because if you go on Amazon, you will see dozens of these things. Same exact design too. And there's some other ones as well, but they're all just from like random companies that make a couple things and they all come from China. In fact, this one arrived at my place after a few weeks. I ordered it online and just it showed up and it arrived from Shenzhen, China. $55.55 was what what I paid for it. No company sent this to me. And here it is. It's a bamboo keyboard. And I, uh, I mean, I, <laughs> it feels okay. It feels like your typical kind of um, cheap Dell, you know, flatter kind of keyboard with not a lot of key travel. More than like uh, chiclet keyboards, of course, but still this this space bar is really small so where i sit my hands i end up wanting to press alt right here a lot or uh, the right mouse button sort of function thing that's because really the arrow keys are all crammed in here like they tried to make this really small by minimizing this whole area where you would normally have the page up page down and arrow keys and stuff but yeah, for whatever reason they went with a narrower keyboard but hey, it's got some, what's well, got an LED here, some function keys for things like internet and uh, muting and a calculator button and got some other little function things for media playback, which I don't care about that. I just want the same, just to feel how the basic key functions feel. Typing, gaming, that kind of thing. So let's just plug it in right now and try it out. All right, so I've got my normal uh, keyboard and mouse set up here, which are all mechanical and nice, but they've got to get out of the way so we can have this in here. So the batteries are in there, which should mean it is turned on, even though there is no, well, there's a very faint LED right there that is lit. All right, there we go. And uh, just clicked and it turned itself on, which is, that's cool. And that's very easy. It's kind of nice not having any power buttons, I, I guess. Although I'd, I'd like to have one as an option just to turn it off like, for my own peace of mind, just so the batteries don't like wear down if it doesn't turn itself off. Anyway, let's go ahead and play some Unreal Tournament. 99, Game of the Year edition, because I am very familiar with this game as far as mouse and keyboard controls, and um, it's just awesome. I felt like playing it again. So let's go ahead and, well, mouse already feels fine, which is cool. It just is a little small. We're gonna go with, uh, yeah, you know, deck 16 too is just fine as far as a map. It's a great map. Yeah, let's frag some dudes. All right, great, stupid ripper. I don't want this, but I'll take it. If you can't play with a ripper, you can't play UT. 
At least by default. Oh crap. Ah! Get stuck right in that wall. Oh, and I am automatically, my, my confidence is shot after that. I'm already feeling a little strange with this, uh, this mouse mostly. It's too, way too sensitive. I already cranked it down a little bit to my normal sensitivity settings for this, but it even still feels, it, it just feels weird. Yeah, I mean, okay, so this is, it, it's all right. It, it doesn't feel as good as some of the other membrane keyboards I've used. Obviously, though, I just don't like membrane keyboards at all, is the thing. Which is my biggest reason I would never really use this for anything. <laughs> like at all, because I, I, I'm a purely mechanical user. I love Cherry MX Blues, MX Browns, things like that. And this is just not doing it for me. Um, and also the wood, like the grains of the bamboo are, are digging into my finger a little bit. Especially on the W where I'm holding down to move forward. I guess maybe it's where the W is actually cut into the bamboo. It's a little sharp, so uh, it's not comfortable, really. It, it's it's like it's a raised effect going on that just... Ugh. Yeah, this, uh, this mouse wheel, too, is actually a little low on it for where my fingers... Oh, crap, was not paying attention. <laughs> Looking good to look at myself. It's a little low for where my fingers have to sit, like, just because this mouse is so small. I'm gripping it like this, <laughs> so it's kind of hard to get to the wheel. But then again, that's just me and my size of hands. I mean, it's a small mouse anyway, in general. I'm just having fun with this game now. Reminds me of playing on a friend's laptop. He had a really tiny, like, uh, it was wired, but it was supposedly like a laptop mouse. And it was made specifically to be, you know, smaller and fit in a laptop bag without taking too much space up. That's what this reminds me of. Not something for, you know, a, a desktop. <laughs> this is... In fact, I don't know who this is for. Yeah, I mean, I like bamboo things, right? No, I've got nothing against it. I don't really think it works for uh, keyboard and mouse. But, you know... Uh, anyway, well, that is the um, brandless bam bamboo keyboard and mouse, which the mouse sucks. I don't like it. Uh, the keyboard is okay. I mean, it's tolerable, right? Like if I were to go into here and just typing in, I'm typing in, it just doesn't feel particularly great when you're doing it or doing anything else for that matter. But it's neat kind of to look at. Whether that's worth $55 and 55 cents, uh, I don't really know. And it's also, Irritating my nose from the bamboo dust like that's just floating around here at the moment. So oh yeah, I feel like I need to sneeze I'm gonna go before I have to thank you very much for watching Ugh.